Hi there, Jeffrey Rhodes from Experimental Homesteader Exotic Gardening and SherryAnnRichardson.com. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, hit that join button and join our membership. Um, so, one of my uh, co workers uh, tested positive a few days ago. Um, and Basically, figuring I had been exposed, Sherry uh, decided that we needed to uh, do home testing, and uh, so we picked up a, a kit last night for her, and she tested it, started it last night. Um, I didn't go ahead and buy, I didn't realize I needed two kits, because um, the home kit that we bought, um, it comes with two tests. But you take one and then 24 hours to 36 hours after you take the second one. Um, and so the two tests in the box are for one person. Uh, so she did hers last night, came back negative. Uh, we picked up another kit tonight. Uh, she did her second round and it came back negative as well i did my first round and it was negative so now i get to wait 24 hours and then take the second round and verify that yes i'm negative um <laughs> so but it was just the fact that i was in a little bit closer contact with the person that tested positive so we wanted to make sure that, you know, that I'm not positive and that I didn't bring it home to Sherry. Um, so, because we have another friend uh, who has tested positive. He's, uh, he's battling. Um, he went to the doctor today um, and he has uh, developed some pneumonia, uh, not to the point that he needed to be hospitalized yet, but he's, he's battling some pneumonia in addition to the COVID. So, uh, we're staying in touch with him and, and, you know, trying to help him out. We went to the store and bought him a, a few things, uh, last night. We, we picked up some stuff this evening, um, you know, so he has some food, um, and, you know, we're just, you know, trying to keep in touch with him and make sure that he's doing okay. Um, so, uh, work was, uh, work, um, Although today I had, my, my shelf pick itself wasn't too bad. You know, it, it's like 250 shelves, not a terrible batch, you know. But I talked to the guy at the mill, he, he came looking for me because um, the, the pick for, that was coming from the mill was 180 shelves. Now, normally I get about 50. Um, once in a while I get up to, you know, a full cart of shelves, which is 112. Um, I have once so far had a shelf pick that was 300. Um, but this one was 180. So, you know, he was making sure of what I wanted him to do. Um, once he filled up the cart, you know, the, the excess... You know, the extra shelves, what, he, what I wanted, whether he want, wanted, uh, whether I wanted him to put them on a additional cart or just to palletize them, and I told him just palletize it. Um, that was that was going to be fine with me. Um, just put them on a pallet, and I would sort through them and figure out, you know, what was what. Um, so I was looking at a, a 
a large amount from the mill, um, you know, and with what I already had, um, that was going to push it up over 400 shelves, which that's a good sized amount. Um, but I also had to go to the other building and pick paneling today. So, um, it took me a while. <laughs> Um, but I got through everything, um, it helped that he shorted, uh, over 30 of the, uh, bookshelves, um, they didn't have the material to use to, uh, to make the shelves for me, so, uh, I'll have those tomorrow, uh, if they have the material tomorrow, uh, so, and I, sorted through my tickets uh, for tomorrow, and I've got a large pile of uh, 30, base 36 shelves, which are the large ones that I deal with, um, and I've got like 67 of them, I think I counted, uh, that I'll be having tomorrow, so basically a pallet of 30, base 36s, um, quite a number of four packs of them. So that's 65 pounds per box. Uh, so I've got, you know, my exercise program for tomorrow. Uh, you know, my weightlifting. So that's, you know, what I've got to look forward to tomorrow. In addition to, you know, these bookshelves uh, that they will probably be getting for me tomorrow. And, you know, I've got a few other things I'm waiting on that, you know, it's going to be oh so much fun. Um, and I'm guessing that tomorrow, once they get done with molding and the glass, uh, they'll probably start to pack some of that up. Um, Saturday is the move uh, for molding and glass over to the other building. So uh, they will probably get a head start on it uh, tomorrow. And, uh, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I, of course, am not going to be working on Saturday when they do the move. Uh, I'm taking the day off. Uh, I have an eye exam. Uh, my, it's been a while since I had my eyes checked, <sighs> and my guess is that I need a new prescription. I'm almost positive I do, uh, a stronger prescription. Uh, I also need a new pair of glasses, um, glasses I'm wearing, I'm pretty sure the, uh, the anti-glare has, uh, worn off of it, um, because I'm, I'm, I'm having some issues at night. Uh, I'm getting a lot of glare off of oncoming headlights. And uh, so we'll see what I can do. Uh, I also need a new pair of safety glasses. I'm due for them. Um, so I'll see what I can do about getting two pair of glasses. A safety pair and a regular pair. So, but... That's going to be Saturday. Tomorrow's just going to be, you know, a lot of shelves, and I don't know what else I may be doing tomorrow. So, oh, and that 67 base 36 shelves did not include any of the A trucks because I didn't have those tickets yet. So there may be even more. It may be up to 100 of the 36s. I'm hoping it's not that many. But it's, it's possible that it could push up at least really close to a hundred of them. And that's going to be, that's going to be a lot of work. <laughs> but um, hopefully they'll just let me, you know, focus on my, uh, my shelves tomorrow and uh, not pester me too much about all the other stuff that they're kind of wanting me to do, so. It also depends on whether I have to go over and do paneling tomorrow. So, anyways, I think that's going to do it for today. Um, 
please subscribe. Give us thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below. And we will see everybody tomorrow. Stay safe out there.